There are two ways how you can download UTM software. First, through the App Store and from the official website. On the App Store, the UTM application costs 9.99 bucks. Uh, this provides actually the way uh, of supporting the developers, the development of the new UTM features. Generally, this software is uh, free and open source. So by downloading this, this app through the App Store, you are supporting developers and you are getting the automatic updates. So if you are just starting out with UTM software, you can download it free of charge from the, their official website, which is mac.getutm.app. Over there, just click the download button and installer will uh, be downloaded to your device. This uh, UTM virtualization uh, software has been developed primarily for the Mac users and it's available for your MacBook, for your iPad and iPhone de devices. So now, since we downloaded the UTM, uh, we will uh, drag the downloaded app and place it to the application folder. Then we can open UTM, uh, for example, by going to our launchpad and searching for the UTM and opening up from here. The UTM software will open up. Uh, it has very minimalistic web UI interface. Behind the scene, it is using the QEMU open source emulation which typically uses CLI instructions to configure like a virtualization or emulation, but you can think of UTM as web UI for QEM emulator. So now as we have UTM software open, let's click on the plus button. So this will allow us to create a new virtual machine. And here we will be presented with two options for virtualization and emulation. So before we proceed, let me explain you what virtualization is versus what emulation is. So basically virtualization allows you to simulate a part of the compute hardware. So for example, if you are Apple uh, M1, M2, M3 uh, chip MacBook uh, owner, you can virtualize the copy of Mac OS uh, that is compiled on this architecture, ARM64. Uh, so you can run basically make OS copy without modification because M1, M2, M3, Apple MacBooks were comp compiled for ARM64 architecture. So basically this will allow you to run the Mac OS on your Mac CPU. Whereas the, when we use emulation, uh, uh, you can use this option when you, for example, would like to run a copy of uh, Windows that was compiled for x86 uh, or, or AMD64 uh, CPU architecture. And you would like to run this OS on Apple Silicon M1, M2, M3 chips um, that uses the ARM64 architecture. So basically with, this, with emulation, the software will do um, translation of x86 or AMD64 instruction into ARM64 instructions. So due to this translation, the emulation is much slower. Just remember this best always from performance perspective, we use virtualization when possible. So for example, if you would like to run Windows uh, with virtualization instead of emulation, you will need to download the Windows uh, that was compiled for ARM64 architecture. So now, as as we know the differences between virtualization and emulation, let's uh, choose a virtualize option. And uh, then we are presenting which operating system we would like to install as part of the virtual machine. In our case, let's choose Mac 12 plus. So if you want to install specific Mac OS version, you will need to download it and uh, upload uh, the IPSW uh, file which is basically an Apple device software update file. Uh, so if you don't have this file, um, you, can, you can just skip the default settings over here and the UTM will download the latest, greatest macOS uh, version. So in my case, this will be Sonoma uh, at this point of the time. Now we can adjust the memory. Uh, when you are just starting out, just you can keep the default settings when it comes to the RAM resources and the hard drive uh, resources. So this will be pre-allocated hard drive space. So you need to have that much space available on your main uh, device. 
And then here yeah, just a review the uh, virtual machine settings. Make sure that everything is uh, aligned to your needs. Uh, you can specify the name of machine as you wish. And then uh, if you make any mistake, just go back. If you are okay with the, the presented settings from this overview, just click save and virtual machine uh, will uh, start the download of the latest Mac OS uh, version. So this is uh, 13 uh, up to 14 gig uh, size. So this will take some time depending on your internet connectivity. Uh, if you typically by default, you have presented the time uh, that is remaining for the download to be completed. If you wish to see the details, like how much, uh, uh, let's say, uh, how much we have already downloaded in regards to gigabytes and what is the download speed, just click on the uh, progress bar to display the details. So uh, with this, you can see the download speed, size of the Mac OS image, remaining time of download and how much data were already transferred. So once this is completed, uh, on the left side of UT UTM application, you will see the virtual machine name with Apple logo. Uh, prior running this virtual machine, you can right click and select edit if you wish to change, for example, the display resolution size or any other, you know, changes such as uh, changes to the networking settings and so on and so forth. Uh, once you modify the virtual machine settings, just you can either double click on it or right click and select the run option and this or click on the play button. This will launch and start the virtual machine. So you will then see uh, in the top toolbar the installation process. Uh, after this is done, uh, you can open the virtual machine in the full screen. So because the Mac OS um, a setup wizard will kick in, uh, which, which you might be familiar because this is the same as when you first uh, you know, set up your uh, Mac OS uh, operating system. And now you just need to go through the, uh, uh, the Mac OS uh, setup wizard and then you can start using your virtual machine. So the, we will see the boot uh, uh, Apple logo initially and then the greetings in multiple languages. And uh, from here we can just click on get started. I uh, will select the language uh, of our operating system based on our um, preference. I'm choosing the English. Then uh, you will select the country or region where are you based. So I'm currently based and living in Poland. Then you can uh, adjust the, the preferred keyboard lang languages. So I would like to add also my uh, Slovak, uh, Slovakian language as preferred language. So. Uh, I can type special character from my English dictation. I will use just uh, with English settings and I will not set up at this moment the, any accessibility features. Data privacy, I will just read through and continue. I'm not going to migrate any settings, so I'll just choose not now. And uh, Apple doesn't currently support the Apple ID with virtual machines, so just uh, click here, uh, set up later. And yes, confirm that you would like to skip the settings and then read the terms and conditions uh, presented from the Apple. And uh, if you agree, then submit the agree button, confirm. And then now you can create the local user account, put uh, the user full name, account name, which is the username, password, type it twice. And if you wish, you can set the hint for the password in case you want to recall. And you can change the the logo uh, icon, so I'm choosing the lion, and hit the continue. This will create the local user account on the uh, virtual machine of Mac OS. Now, this takes some time. Now, if you wish, you can enable the location services. I'm not doing this, so I will say I don't use it. Then select your time zone. If you wish, you can send the analytics uh, of this Mac OS with Apple. I'm uh, unchecking this option. Then I will continue with the screen sign, sc screen time settings. And I'm using Siri already on the main operating system, so I will disable it on virtual machine. 
and then I'm going to choose the look and feel of the macOS virtual machine and keep keeping the theme light. And yeah, with this, you have ready the co copy of macOS in virtual machine on your MacBook. So if I go to about this uh, computer, about this Mac, you will see that uh, the chip is same, but there is indication that this is virtual machine if we compare it to the main operating system. And you will see the memory that you assign for the virtual machine, not the total memory that is available on the main uh, oh, like uh, host, hosting uh, MacBook. Uh, you can now do your uh, own testing, and if you are done, just shut it down as you would regularly for your uh, MacBook. That's it. Bye.